what are the main responsibilities of your own role and the work that your group at IBM does? I'm responsible for uh, leading a team that develop all of the IBM security products. So we take um, we take innovations, um, ideas from incubation all the way through product development through to uh, delivery products to the field and the support of them. Very good. And in terms of AI, what impacts do you think AI will make on cybersecurity? Well, I think AI is going to make a huge impact in the war on cybercrime because there's a huge uh, shortage of skilled uh, security professionals in the world right now. So it's reckoned that there'll be in the region of 1.2 million unfilled uh, cybersecurity roles by 2020. And with the use of machine as the companion or assistant to the human, you know, cybersecurity analyst, it will make it possible to keep up with the rate and pace of cybercrime. How do you recommend organizations can leverage AI across all aspects of security? Well, I reckon that organizations need to infuse um, AI and machine learning capabilities throughout their whole uh, security ecosystem. They need to look at all of the, the major uh, defenses they have against cybercrime and look for opportunities to infuse those defenses or look for capabilities that infu infuse those defenses throughout the, that portfolio. Do you believe that GDPR's scope is wide enough to include the kind of responsibilities that an AI-centric data economy could entail? I do. I think, um, you know, GDPR is all about the data. It's all about personal identifiable data that's been um, held and stored and could be used for malicious purposes. So it's about cleansing age-old repositories of that data and it's about uh, cleansing, you know, repositories that will be created in the future, making sure that that kind of data is not stored. So absolutely, I think it's totally appropriate um, and the scope of it is totally appropriate to an AI-centric economy, yes.